Hi guys, I'm on Peggy 11 at my local lake, Ladywood Lake. We're on here until Friday morning on the Big Carp Lake. And we've got a special guest coming, Daryl Peck. Once again, he's coming back on my blog. On my two rods, I've got a D-rig with two thick pieces of corn lined up together. And on my two rods, that's going to be perfect for the deadly combination. I've got two new rods. They're both Sully's Classics, 2.75 pound test turbo, both of them, with my Sully's 55QD wheels. So hopefully I'm going to give them a good test on those and see how they do. I'm going to do a little review on them after a couple of weeks, see how they do doing. So that's great. And we've just set up and hopefully we can get a fish on the bank to show you. Hi guys, I'm going to show you two products that have been very impressive from the past couple of weeks I've been fishing. First, the infuser pots. They are very ideal for your goo. You take off the lid, you get a nice even coating of your hook baits. You put the lid back on and it's got a nice seal to it so the goo doesn't drop out. As you can see, it's got a little tray in the pot where all your hook baits go. And in the main pot, it's got the bottom and it's got all your glug in there so you don't have to waste it. It comes in a large and a small and that's great for the infamous goo. Now onto the Bank Bug artificial bait plastic case. It comes with 12 pots and a nice carry-all case. It, you've got a spoon for your glug in if you want to put any beetling in your plastics but I don't because I just don't really want to really. And you've got your pop-up corn and you've got your sticker to say what you've got. And if, say this is in beetling, you put that there, you get it, you get your spoon and you put it out. And that is nice and easy to put it out there and, you, and it's so easy. And that's a little great product you should have if you like glugging your plastics and love your plastics. The evening's drawing in in day one now. At lunchtime, my right hand rod screamed off and I lost that one. I was unhappy and I was really sad and I was angry with myself. But we got it back out there on the spot with the same tactics with a D rig and just a bedded piece of corn all around there so we can get the fish feeding once again. In the evening, it roared off. Thank God for that. I had to go down to Peg 12 because it was trying to get in my la lines. It had a really good fight. It was lunging. It was trying to get to the bottom. It was trying to get to the other side. But finally, I got it to the top. Dad slipped the net under it and I got it in. We, we, we weighed it and on the dot it was £13, 2 ounce. It was a very beautiful scaly mirror. And here are the pictures of it. Well in boys. Did it, did it rattle off that? Yeah, it's cleaned off. Oh yes. Now I'm gonna talk about my improvements and my reels and my rods. The action of them, brilliant, 10 out of 10. The reels are a perfect fit for me, the brilliant. Thank you, Witchwood. Hopefully we can get some more on the bank to show you.
last night, but Dad had three. That's great. But in the morning, day two, this rod of a beautiful mirror cap on my right hand rod. Let's get some more. guys it's the afternoon of day two now the weather's been a bit hectic because the wind's been changing three times now this morning it was bright sunshine with flat calm water that wasn't the best conditions for ladywood but on my right hand rod earlier i caught that 10 pound six ounce mirror carp with the winds being changing it's whipped round here pushing into that bank over there where my baits are, it's prime for a bite, but the sun's been shining sometimes and the fish might be moving up layers in the water. That means only one thing, zigs. But if we get to zigs, we'll show you them in more detail. A special congratulations to Emily Parrish, because on page 17, because she caught one of the patch commons what is very brilliant and it was 27 pounds it was a stunning fish i like it when the kids emily get show the dads how it's done Hi guys, we're still on five fish. It's got a bit quiet now because it's bright sunshine. Daryl's arrived, he's helped Dad with his rods and we're still on five fish, so we need to get some more. We've got one down there because some fish have been topping and rolling over there with a, with a little PVA bag on there, just cast it out into the margin so hopefully that rip rolls off. We've got two zigs down there five foot and we're going to adjust them with the adjustable zigs and hopefully we can get some more on those we'll talk, talk to you about them more in detail later
Three feet down on the adjustable zig rig. Yeah. A little size 10 mixer right in the bottom lip. Yeah. It's coming into the evening now. As you've seen earlier in my blog, I caught on that zig rig with a squid pop up. That was amazing. But Daryl here is going to show us how effective the Zig adjustable rigs are, so here they are. Right then mate, if you could just hold this boy in for me. Yep. That's your hook bait. And here we've got three and a half ounce lead and a Fox adjustable Zig float. Basically yep. it works much like a marker float system. This pops up to the surface. Once it's on the surface, I reel it down a bit until this pops under. Then I know that I've got exactly five feet of hook link, which is here. I wind five feet down, bring the bait to the surface, and like we've been doing today, brought it down one foot at a time, and we caught our fish three foot down, didn't we? Yeah. Right, just to stop it tangling, a little top tip, lick and stick a foam nugget, and the bottom of the stem like that, if you pass that back to me, just hook that into there like so, and now we're ready to cast it out. Yeah. Job's a good one. Right, we pop the we pop the float to the surface, just bob it down a little bit yep. until it just dips from sight. Got to pull on that five feet of line, got to be one foot marker, so one foot, two foot, up to five foot. Yep. Once that baits exactly on the surface, I'm from there, one foot at a time down. Just make sure I can see that float again. There it is. There it goes. It's down. One, two, three, four, five. So that's on the surface. Yep. One. Let's go four. Yeah. Right, there we go. Set the clutch nice and tight. That's it. Bobbing on. Nice and tight line. Turn the volume up and we're away. You want it nice and sensitive so you get very finicky bites and things. So you just want to be able to register them. Yeah. Well, 
well, as long as you've learned something, I'm happy. I'm, one of the main things I'm really pleased about is that we saw fish and that we reacted to what we saw and um, that was the rod that kept doing the bites. Yeah. You didn't catch on the rigs that I showed you, you caught on Danny Fairbrass's DF, met some dodgy guy in the bushes and he sold a few. And uh, yeah, it's been interesting, caught a few carp and had a good time.